and welcome back to 11J. Today I'll be talking about the amazing pop-up cop shop that opened up here in Soho, Central Park from Friends. We are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Friends. Uh, it's been so long. It is still one of the favorite shows of a lot of people. They still have it on TV. I still watch it every single day. How to get to Central Perk? You can just take the yellow line downtown, so NQR, all the way to Canal Street, and then you go a couple blocks into Sea Broom Street up north, and turn right east, and you'll get to Lafayette Street. It's super easy. You'll see the line, and you'll know it's there. And yes, it's a super long line, as always. It's about an hour and a half wait. My roommate and I realized that New York is a line, so you have to get used to that, my Jays. So I made new friends and we talked about the best episodes of Friends. The Thanksgiving episode, when they're all playing football. Rachel accidentally thinks that Joey proposes to her. The whole situation was hilarious for me. When Joey does the wrong quotations. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the bright episode where they're getting uh, Monica's gown because they're wrestling in the middle of a store in New York and they have their whistles and I just think it's hilarious. When Phoebe is trying to teach Joey how to speak French. I like when they're moving the couch and then um, they're kind of yelling at each other like pivot and like shut up. I like the um, episode where Chandler and Monica get engaged just because it's really cute like and they're all like really sentimental and it was just nice. Yeah. And one of my favorite episodes is actually when Chandler and Rachel, they eat the whole cheesecake, like they eat like three of them, it's so funny. And then Joey comes in with a fork and says, what are we talking to? And he just eats it on the floor. And then I asked them if they could choose any of the characters to be one of their friends. Who would they choose? It's Rachel. I really like the way she changed from the beginning of the show. Towards the end, she became a really strong woman. Chandler because he's sarcastic and I feel like I could relate to him somehow. It's Phoebe and I would want to run through Central Park with her because she's just so entertaining and hilarious so I think same my choice. <laughs> same here. <laughs> exact same reason. I would pick um, Phoebe because she's like a hippie and I'm kind of like a hippie so I would bond with her more easily than the other people. I would choose Joey to be my friend. He's um, funny, makes me laugh. He's a foodie which is why I would date him. Be Phoebe. Because yeah. she's so funny and whimsical and yeah, fun-loving, yeah. energetic. I think I would choose Rachel because we have the fashion thing in common. And if you could choose any of them to date, who would it be? It would be Rachel because uh, she's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably date Chandler because he's like really sweet. The person I would date would be Joey. He's just funny and he's hot. Jennifer Aniston, if I was a guy. Rachel's awesome. She's pretty hot. Joey, because the relationships don't last long. So yeah, <laughs> I would pick him. Chandler, Chandler. Bing. Yeah, because he's like really sarcastic. And funny. But, yeah, really funny. But caring and, at the same time. I would date Monica, she can cook, so I love to eat. And I would date Chandler, because he's the funniest one. And he's so sweet. I love him. So after the super long wait, we finally got in. And we got free coffee. There's four different flavors, and they're really good. So that did wake us up for the picture. You get to sit down in the beautiful orangey brownish couch. The coffee shop is beautifully decorated. There's a beautiful display of some of their outfits that they wore in the show. trophy that they won for the Thanksgiving football game. Some cat litter from the smelly cat. And also some of their props. They also sell the coffee. They also sell really cool t-shirts. really cute bracelets. It is totally worth it. I highly recommend you guys to go and it's only gonna be open until October 18th. So go. And this Monday, September 29th, it's National Coffee Day. They're gonna be having a lot of activities and special stuff going on. This week's song of the week is Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. It's 
starting to get really cold and I'm not happy about that. Thank you Jace again so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me down to the valley of the Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you next week. I'll be talking about the pop up coffee shop. Pop up. Let me start. It's not your fault.